everyone, it's Kathy here, and today's look is going to be this right here on my face, a back-to-school drugstore makeup tutorial. It's so affordable, and I feel like it's wearable, it's natural, you can wear it to school, to work, anywhere you want. So I created this look for you guys, and I hope everyone enjoy it, and thank you for visiting my channel again. Zoom out just a little bit, this is too far in the Face like it. Okay, so today I'm gonna be priming my face with the Avino Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer. You guys know that I have very dry skin, so I'm just gonna. Okay, so I'm trying my best to use all drugstore products because you know it's back to school, people are on a budget. So today I'm going to use the Fit Me Foundation this makeup the first day that. College, but I made sure it's like pretty for everybody. Foundation is a little pale on me, but it's okay. I'm just gonna go back with bronzer because this is like a back to school. I don't want to be too dramatic on my eyebrows. So now that the eyebrows are done, I'm gonna go in with concealer. I don't really like the color of these eyebrows, but due to the drugstore makeup, I'm just gonna deal with it. This is the best invention ever. So I'm just gonna make like a triangle. And then we're gonna use a beauty blender to just blend that out. There's no way a brush can blend this. Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder, and I'm gonna use that as my setting powder. I'm just gonna kind of like rub my beauty blender in there, just like this. I know it's like kind of ratchet, but that's just how I like doing it. And then I'm just going to put the powder over your concealer. My adorable palette by NYX, the pink shade with the white shade on my lid first. So I'm just gonna close one eye. take that brown shade that we use on the end of our lids we're gonna put it on the bottom I do this because I have brown eyes and I feel like it just opens up my eyes even more and any eye color you could really rock this I mean can you really go wrong with doing brown eyeshadow look so I'm gonna go in with the voluminous L'Oreal eyeliner and I think this is supposed to go on the top but I'm like gonna use this for my bottom when I'm doing mascara, I like to kind of wiggle my mascara brush right in there. I feel like it just picks up the product more. Okay, so now we're gonna contour our face. I'm using my NYX contour little kick they have over here. I'm gonna go in with these two shades right here. I'm gonna use my NYX, the shade Pink in Town. But before applying that on my face, this is really pink. So I think I'm gonna like mix it with my NYX contour kit in this shade right here. So I'm just gonna mix it. And while I have this out opened, I wanna contour my nose. So going with the same shade that I contoured my face with, which was this too. I'm just going to take the lighter shade of the two shades that I use. I'm just gonna go straight down on my nose. I don't know what it is. I just can't move on with life without adding some depth to my nose. Like I always have to contour it. Looks so kill for some eyelashes right now. And then always have a beauty blender handy because you're just gonna wanna clean that up. I just wanna move on to highlighter. I'm using the NYX Wonder Stick Highlighter. It's so funny to me because it really reminds me of the Kim Kardashian Contour Stick, but you know, it has the contour and then it has the highlighter side, but 
I bought this about two years ago. And, and I'm just going to kind of just brush it right there. As you can see, it has that wet, dewy finish to it. I'm just going to take a beauty blender. I'm just going to mix it in. And you can see that it's kind of giving me a natural glow, not a harsh glow. So I do like a line. And then I just do the tip of my nose. And now for the lips. I love doing mattes, but when I was in high school, matte wasn't really a thing yet. It was like starting to become a thing, but it really wasn't a thing. And um, so I'm using the Revlon, the Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. I'm really in love with this color. And it's the shade Seduction. Like, I feel like it's so pretty and so natural. You know, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on it, but it works for me and it's just for everyday use, you know? So I'm just gonna add it on there. Just like that. And you can see that the look is like coming along. It's very natural, but cute, simple, flirty at the same time. You're not overdoing it. So this is the finishing look. I am going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to use my Urban Decay setting spray. This is not drugstore, but I totally forgot to buy a drugstore product for setting spray, but any setting spray, honestly, I feel like would work. Don't really need to be high end. And if you don't have setting spray, you can always set your face with powder. That's what I used to do when I run out of setting spray. I just set my face with powder and I just call it a day. Just keep moving. So yeah, this is the finishing look. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is very simple, back to school, super easy, super fast, super affordable, and just super all the way. Avino, and we use e.l.f. brushes for all of them, I believe, and a beauty blender. You can get beauty blender from Marshalls for like $3 and they work just as fine. Just be careful. You know, you wanna use one that you know, you kind of want to cheat a little bit, open up the box and fill the beauty blender. That's what I do. I like to open everything. I'm like, oh, nobody saw me. I just put it back. But you know, that's what you got to do. But this is the look, and I hope you guys enjoy it.